In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the newborn size of this basic crochet hat with the ear flaps. And for this project, you'll be using yarn and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. For round one, we'll begin with a magic circle. So take the yarn around your fingers, reach through, bring up a loop, chain one to secure your yarn. And now we will do eight single crochet into this magic circle. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and now we'll take that beginning tail and give it a pull, and that will close up that hole. And you'll weave in that end a little bit later. And now you'll place your stitch marker. And at this point, you should have eight stitches. For round two, we're going to do one increase in each stitch. So for your increase, you'll go into the stitch, do a single crochet, go back into that same stitch, and do another single crochet. And that is an increase. And you'll continue to increase in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should have a total of 16 stitches. For round three, we'll do a repeating sequence of one single crochet followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should end up with 24 stitches. For round four, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And once you've reached the end of this round, you should still have 24 stitches. For round five, our repeating sequence will be one single crochet followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat one single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. For round six, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have 36 stitches. For round seven, our repeating sequence will be two single crochet followed by one increase. And you'll continue to repeat two single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should end up with a total of 48 stitches. For round eight, we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And at the end of this round, you should still have a total of 48 stitches. For round nine, your repeating sequence will be 11 single crochet followed by one increase. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, 11, and then one increase. And now you'll continue to repeat 11 single crochet and one increase. And at the end of this round, you should have 52 stitches. For rounds 10 through 20, you're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And when you reach the end of round 20, you should still have 52 stitches and it will also be a really good time to weave in that beginning end. And here I've come to the end of round 20 and now we'll start doing the ear flaps. So for row one of the ear flaps, we're going to chain one and then do 11 single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and now we're going to chain one and turn. For rows two through four, we're going to do 11 single crochet. So starting in that first stitch, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then chain one and turn. And you'll continue to do this until you've reached the end of row four. For row five, we're going to begin with one decrease. So go into the stitch, bring up your loop, go to the next stitch, bring up your loop, grab the yarn and pull through all three loops. And that is a decrease. Next, we'll do seven single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you've done your seven single crochet, we'll do one decrease. And now chain one and turn. For row six, We'll begin with one decrease. Next, we'll do five single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, and then one decrease. And chain one and turn. For row seven, we'll begin with one decrease and then three single crochet. There's one, two, three, and then one decrease. And now we'll chain one and turn. For row eight, we'll begin with one decrease. 
then do one single crochet and then one decrease. And now we'll tie off and cut the yarn. And that finishes the first ear flap. And you'll need to weave in this end. So now we've got our first ear flap done. We'll need to do our second ear flap. And so we're going to starting to count in the next stitch. So this one we used, so we'll start here. You're going to skip 19 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And so you've skipped 19, so go to the next stitch. We're going to attach our yarn. And then for row one of the second ear flap, we'll chain one and then do 11 single crochet. And if you hold your tail down, you'll catch it inside your stitches. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you can just drop that tail, there's seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And now you'll chain one and turn. For rows two through four of your second ear flap, you're going to do 11 single crochet. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And at the end of each row, you will chain one and turn. For row five of the second ear flap, we're going to begin with a decrease. Next, you'll do seven single crochet. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now one decrease. And chain one and turn. For row six of the second ear flap, we'll begin with one decrease, followed by five single crochet. Here's one, two, three, four, five, and then one decrease. And chain one and turn. For row seven of the second ear flap, we'll begin with a decrease, followed by three single crochet. One, two, three, and then one decrease. And then chain one and turn. 
for row eight, we'll begin with one decrease. And then do one single crochet. And then one decrease. If you're going to, so that finishes the second ear flap. If you're going to continue and do the border in the same color, you do not need to tie off. But if you are going to do a different color for the border of the hat, at this point you will tie off. So I'm going to do that so I can switch colors. And then go ahead and weave in those ends. For the border, if you are not changing colors, you'll just continue on using the same yarn that you already had. And you'll just single crochet going down the sides of the ear flaps all the way around and around the ear flaps. If you are changing colors, I'm going to come to that center stitch of one of the ear flaps and attach our yarn. I'm doing a white border. And there's no need for a stitch marker. If you've changed colors, you'll know where you stopped or started. And we're just going to single crochet going all the way around. And when you're going down the sides of the ear flaps, you'll just go through the stitches at the end of each row. And just do a single crochet. So just continuing to single crochet, working your way down the side of the ear flap. And then when you get to the end of the ear flap, you'll just continue to do one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Until you reach the next ear flap. Just keep on crocheting one in each stitch and then when you get to the next ear flap you'll do the same thing that you did over here and so you'll just go into the stitch at the end of each row following the edge of the ear flap go and then go across the end of the ear flap here and then just continue to do the same thing so you'll work down this side go across and work back up the other side of the ear flap and here I've come back to where I started I'm going to go ahead and do a single crochet in that stitch that I attached the yarn in and then slip stitch to the next stitch and tie off and you'll cut your yarn and weave in your ends. For the ties, 
that go onto the ear flaps of the hat. You're going to cut six strips of yarn about 19 inches long. You can do them all in one color, or you can do like I did. I did two of the white and four of the blue. So each one will have one white and two blues. And then just to attach, you're gonna come over to the ear flap, find that center stitch there on the edge of the ear flap. And I just used my crochet hook. You just grab it and pull it through. And then you pull and get them, get them to where the ends are even. And then we're just going to do a simple braid. And so you'll divide into three groups of two strands each. And then we'll just do a simple braid going down the length of the yarn. And then you'll just keep going until you reach the end of the yarn. It's a little bit easier if you've got something to hold that hat still while you do this, but this will work. And then once you've come towards the end of your yarn, you're going to take it and just tie it in a knot and try to make sure you've got them the same length. So tighten that knot to where they're both the same length or as close as you can get it. And then you'll just take your scissors undo some of this braid. I'll line up your knots so they stay even. And then you can just cut off the excess yarn just to make them all the same length. And there we go. There is the newborn size of a basic crochet hat with ear flaps.